This is Kerry's Full Breakfast with Andrew and Elaine. It is Wednesday morning. It's 30 minutes past later. That's the script and Will I Am and Hall of Fame. Uh, coming up in a few minutes' time, we'll be checking in on traffic and travel as well. So if you're on the road this morning and you spot something, give us a shout 066 712 3666. Uh, just while that song was playing, we've been talking about piercing ears and everything else. And uh, <laughs> without, without going into too much detail, I suggested that if Elaine needed to get another piercing done, I'd use Biro here, but that was turned down oh, apparently. that's horrible. That's fine too. Uh, we have a very special guest in studio with us this morning. We're very excited to be joined in studio by Hannah this morning. Morning, Hannah. Morning. How are you today? I'm good. Now listen, when I invited you to come in studio this morning, I kind of thought you were off school today. You're not off school, are you not? No, we're, unfortunately not. Are you off tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so a little so short midterm. So your midterm is Thursday, Friday? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, some schools are only off for the whole week, but we've only got two days. Oh. <laughs> what school are you in? Abby Dorney. Oh, and what class are you in? Second. Are you making your first Holy Communion this year? Yeah. And who's your teacher? Uh, my teacher is Miss Shanahan. And she's lovely, we hear. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to all the gang in Miss Shanahan's class? Hi, everyone. They are going to hear you this morning, you know, when you go into school. Is it nine o'clock you start school? Yes. I hope they've all heard you this morning. Yeah. Tell people why you're in studio with us this morning, Hannah, because you have a very, very exciting story to tell us. Start from the start now. Yeah. Okay, so it all started off with there was this day in Dingle and lots of people got to come whenever they want to this um, park and you got to meet all the rugby players and I was very happy but I was really young so I didn't really, I don't, can't really remember it but that was my first time meeting Simon. Simon Zebo. Yes. Now, so you're a big Monster rugby fan, aren't you? Yes. Are you a big racing fan now as well? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so you met Simon Zebo, so that was a couple of years ago, you barely remember that, but yeah. Simon didn't forget you, did he? No. And so what happened, did mom, mom's here as well, Marissa's here as well, and so mom and Simon kind of kept in touch on Twitter, is that what happened? Yeah, because so there was this training day in Cork Stadium and you got to see the rugby players, got to well, how they trained and okay. you got to see a match there too. So I went to that and I got to meet him there and I was very, very excited. And my mom and Simon, they got in touch on Twitter and stuff and he, there was this friend of Simon that he said that he'd asked Simon to sign some flags for me, which I got and I was so happy with that, that too. And it came on Valentine's Day, so yeah. I thought it was a great Valentine's Day present. Of course it was. And he's, you got a monster fan and you got a racing uh, flag, I mean, and he wrote on it, didn't he, to Hannah, my biggest fan. Yeah, I was really happy with that. And she's brought them into us this morning and we've looked at them, they're quite cool actually. The, the, the racing flag and the monster flag, so there's two of them there, so we, we, we've been waving them and playing with them this morning. Now, so the story gets even better, Hannah. What happened then? Then, w- the after that, that mom put up on Twitter that she thanks so much, uh, thank you, and thanks so much to Simon for sending the flags and and to Simon's friend for organising it. And then he said that tell Hannah to pick a match and he'll fly us out. Wow, that is amazing. Pick a match and he's going to fly to France. Yeah to Paris and I'm so excited now. That, that is so cool. I'm so jealous. So Simon Zebo said, pick any match you want. I'm going to fly you out. Yeah. To see me playing. Yeah. He's going to, is he paying for the flights? Like, yeah. That's what he meant. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, that's actually so match. cool. So have you, have you picked a match? Yeah, I'm going in um, the 13th of April, that match. Wow. And have you been to Paris before? Yes, I've been to Paris before. This is going to be amazing, though. You're going to go. Yeah. To, you're going to go to see a match. Simon's going to organise the whole thing. Yeah. That is going. To, I assume you're going to probably wear ra- racing colours, though. I'd say you'd have to wear racing colours, would you? Yeah. yeah. That's all right too. And do you know who they're playing that day? Uh, I'm not. Mum, no. I'm not 100. percent Okay, it doesn't really matter, actually, does it? No. Nah. Nah, the occasion. Okay. That's brilliant. Come here. What do you think about now? Now that Simon's gone to France and he can't play for Ireland anymore, what do you think about that? I think it's kind. Of, it's not fair because. He moved to Racing, which means that he didn't move to he didn't move to France, and he should be able to play with Ireland, and he's not, and it's so not fair. And is there anything we can do about it? Yeah, we need to have a word with Joe Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I tell you, I tell you what, now Hannah, um, when you finish here today mm. and you finish school this week, I'm gonna have a word with the lads below because I'd say there's a job in sport going to go for you. We mm. need to sit you down and you need to quiz someone like Joe Schmidt and say, "Hi, Joe, get Simon back in the team." Let's yeah. have a word with him anyway. 
Well, I tell you what. Love you're the, to. You're the right woman for the job, I tell you that, in <laughs> fairness. Hannah, you're a great girl. Thanks for coming in to us. Come here, we want to hear from you again now after the match on the 13th of April. We want you to tell us how yeah. you got on. Is yeah, that all right? Will you come back in and tell us how it was? Yeah. Brilliant. We look forward to that then. I'd That'd love be to excellent. Come back. <laughs> you're an absolute legend. And I, I'm loving the flags as well. And in fairness to Simon, lads, uh, we'll, we'll take a picture of these as well. Simon actually signed them, as Elaine says, and the, he kind of gave the lovely message. And the fact that they arrived on Valentine's Day was lovely, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice little present. Um, I'm so happy with that. Well, good luck with it. In Enjoy the game and hopefully we'll get to talk to you when you come back as well. And congratulations. I mean, it, he doesn't do this for everybody. So no. obviously you're very no. special to him, which is great. Very lucky yeah, little girl, so yeah. Absolutely. So happy. Good, Good girl. Listen, thanks for coming in today, Hannah, all right? Yeah. Can we get a photo with you in a minute? With the flags? Yeah, of course you can get a picture. Cool, okay. People can check that out on our Facebook page. You're kind of like a little celebrity now. People asking for your photo and stuff, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after today you will be, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Anna, And uh, thanks to Mum as well for bringing Hannah in this morning. And uh, we look forward to hearing how you get on in Paris. Right, it's coming up to 20 past eight now on Kerry's Full Breakfast. We've got the birthday book next. Kerry's Full Breakfast. Morning.